Yo, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to another video. Now this video is going to be a little more different than the ones that I've made in the last couple of videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to work with HTML2 Canvas and we're going to mix it with JS PDF. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to take a screenshot of whatever we have in our browser and convert it into a PDF. So this is what I have right here. It's a simple table um, with my opinion of greatest of all time players and a simple piece of text. And if I click on this button right here that says print, I'll have print a uh, PDF. And if I open it up, and let me just drag it over here, we'll see that it took a screenshot of that exact part of the, of the page. And uh, it shows the exact images, um, exact text, and everything. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I have a brand new folder made. And the very first thing that we have to do inside of here is we have to install a React app. So to do that, all I'm going to do is npx create dash react dash app, and I'll call it JS PDF uh, HTML to Canvas tutorial. You can call it whatever you want, and let that work its magic. Perfect. So now that that's done, uh, we're going to go into the actual project, and we need to install our dependencies. Now we're only going to be using two different dependencies. So I'll do npm i uh, JS PDF and HTML to canvas perfect so now we're just gonna go ahead and run this app just so we have it running in the background and I'm gonna go inside going back into the project I'm gonna go inside of my app.js file and let's go ahead and clear all this stuff up we don't need any of this content inside of there and we're also gonna create a new file and we'll call this file uh, PDF content JS. So I'm going to assume that you already have some sort of idea of what kind of content you want for your PDF to display. But in my example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be displaying that table that we saw in the beginning. And all that's doing is it's taking a data uh, array of objects with a name, rings, greatest of all time rank, and the player's image. And all it's going to do is it's going to be displaying that in a simple table uh, where it has these headers and inside of the body it displays the name, the rings, the rank, as well as the player's image. And don't worry, if you're just following along with the tutorial, all you have to do is just go ahead in the description down below. I've made the kit repo for this. You can just go ahead and copy exactly what's inside of the pdf.content.js file and put it inside of your own example if you want. And so I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back into my app.js file and I'll just go ahead and import it. So I'll just do import pdf content from dot slash pdf content. And we're just going to go ahead and import uh, PDF content right here. So what I'll do is I'll open up a tag. And I'll do PDF content like so with a self-closing brace. And right above it, we'll do, let's call a button. And inside of the button, we'll just type in here, print PDF. And inside of the actual button, it's going to take an on-click prop. And it's going to run a function called export PDF. There we go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and actually create this function. So I'll do const export PDF. And inside of there, it's going to take a const input. And this input is going to be equal to document.getElement by ID. And we're going to set this element to be app like so. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we're going to import all the stuff that we need. So we installed two, dependen two dependencies earlier. So I'll do import HTML to canvas from HTML to canvas. And after that, I'll do import JS PDF from, you guessed it, JS PDF. And now what we're going to do is we're basically going to be telling HTML to, con HTML to canvas that whatever content is within this div right here, this class name app div, we want to basically capture that as a screenshot and then eventually throw it out as a PDF. So how that's going to look is underneath my input right here, I'll do HTML to canvas and I'll give it an input and I'll do comma curly braces. And this is the important part. If you want to render images, what I'll do is logging is equal to true and then I'll do letter rendering and we're going to set that to one 
And finally, we'll do use cores. And we're going to set that to true. And after that, we're going to do dot then, call canvas. And within these curly braces is where we're, is where we're going to be implementing all of our save PDF logic. And so you can sort of see right here that GitHub Copilot sort of has a good idea of what we're trying to do here. So what we have to do is we have to define the width and the height of the actual PDF. So I'll do let, oops, I'll do const image width. And we're going to set that equal to 208. And we'll do const uh, image height. And we'll set that to canvas dot, I think it's height, yep, uh, multiplied by image width divided by canvas width. And this will give us a pretty good uh, image, image height to be able to fit all of our stuff. And after that, we'll do is const image data. And we're going to set that equal to canvas.data URL. And we'll do image slash PNG. I will just do IMG, um, which is a safer bet for myself. Uh, after that, we'll do const PDF is equal to new PDF. And inside of the actual uh, braces, we can define exactly what we want. In our case, we're just going to uh, display a simple A4 paper uh, sized PDF. And after that, I'll do PDF dot add image. And I'll call image data, give it PNG. And then after that, we give it the image width as well as the image height. And finally, we'll do pdf.save. And I'll just call it, uh, let's call it goat rank.pdf. This is going to be the file name once you actually save the actual image. And down here, we have a error. Let's see what is happening. So it expected something. I think I have an extra brace somewhere. There we go. Alrighty, so now if we test it out, it should hopefully work. So if I click on this button, print PDF right here, nothing happens. Uh, let's see what the error is. So if I go to my console, we'll see it says your invalid element provided as first argument. So that means that get element by ID app. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, so we didn't actually even give it an element by ID called app. Uh, I mistakenly thought that class name was ID. Uh, so what we'll do is Below this, I'll add a simple header. Um, this actual error is pretty good because it can allow us to add a little bit of CSS to our actual PDF. Uh, so I'll do, inside of the header, I'll give it an ID and I'll call app. And in fact, just to add a little more color, we'll just do class name is equal to app-header. Oops, header. Since the actual um, app.css file already talks to class name app header and gives it a, like a background color and um, centers everything, so now if we go back into the app, we should see a little bit more styling. And now if I click on print PDF, there we go. It downloads, it says your goat rank, and I've opened it up and perfect. We have a screenshot that is converted into a PDF of exactly what we want. We have our images as well as our rank. Of course, LeBron's at the top because he's the greatest of all time. And uh, perfect, perfect. So in this video, we learned how to work with HTML2 canvas and converting that canvas into a PDF file that's an image. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.